over time you've given excuses yani from the craziest to the ones that don't make sense as to why we need to quote and quote test drive before we settle in because i mean you really do not know is it what you want will they make you happy will they satisfy you me i want to be sure you know we've done all those things we've given all these excuses so today we're looking into why we shouldn't or why it is risky for you to quote and quote take that drive on a road test before you actually own the car zulu nimejaribu try it and you know over time we have likened it with testing cars driving yes. and the problem is the cars don't change before and after you buy them Ah. They remain consistent. <laughs> that is true. If I bought a Mazda, it is my car Mazda. Exactly. It, it will not be a Prado after exactly. I buy it. <laughs> now, with people, the, 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 the connection, the sex before and after are very different things. That is what those who advocate for test driving forget. Maybe they don't know. Like me, I'm very eager to find <laughs> out. Eh? <laughs> yes. So the, 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 the prior, what are the principles behind all this? The first principle is that mm. those who say, I would like to know the anatomy, is it working? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it <laughs> there? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you know, yes. and you know, people want to know, you know, how can, how can I just carry and go home? Mm. <laughs> mm. You know? And others want to know whether you can, especially for men, whether they can go the distance, mm -hmm. uh, whether they are sprinters or marathoners, mm. <laughs> you know. Yes. Others want to know, are we compatible? I mean, can we get, can we get along? Yes. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. when you listen to those who advocate for that, those are the reasons they'll be giving you. And all of them fall flat. <laughs> when you test them, when you test them on the following criteria. Number one, mm -hmm. whether people can go the distance to say this activity is learned. It's not instinctive and biological. You're supposed to exercise until you can do it right for this person and for yourself. The rhythm you form, both of you, cannot have been practiced elsewhere because... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the rhythm there is not the rhythm here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, get it. Yes. <laughs> Only the two of you will practice until you find mm. the balance where it is. Yes. Your drive and my drive need to be introduced to each other. So you, um, what you call long can be short, brief, short. So we need again to yes. find what is the definition of enough <laughs> for both of us. Yes, that is true. <laughs> again, the temperature in the room. <laughs> generally where we are today okay. <laughs> how much energy we have for what mm. <laughs> you know it can be affect if we just landed in Mozambique and we are tired both of us to be very different than we are just <laughs> relaxing here <laughs> <laughs> so yes. the energy we have that time sometimes you just have you're just hungry and you'd have no energy to eat so we place your food there because you're hungry you put effort yeah. And you need some amount to feel okay for now. Mm -hmm. oh, God, I'm okay now. And you fall somewhere you sleep. Yeah. So some of these things is balancing between energy and need. I drive. And yeah. It's not just time, longevity. <laughs> it's the energy levels where we are at that time. <laughs> All right? That is so true. That <laughs> you is know? So the other thing is that uh, they will not tell you is that uh, anatomies of a normal male and normal female are generally workable. Are we together? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this anatomy business has been exaggerated. Mm -hmm. People have been swallowing things. Yeah. <laughs> to modify yeah. this, modify the other. Mm. Um, God knew all that. <laughs> and he made sure that the parts that need are just on the surface. These other things are gimmicks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so whose size... I want you to one day just talk to urologists, gynas, or just do your own research. Yeah. And t type funny things that you can't ask people. Type on Google, type on YouTube there. Okay. <laughs> what are the minimum or maximum size for this? And the other? You, you'll be surprised. The noise we make is unnecessary. Okay. What is required is not size, but skill. Okay. Mumesikia. <laughs> Mumesikia. <laughs> <laughs> what mm -hmm. you need. Mm -hmm. uh, they say as long as you're in the range of normal, mm -hmm. you don't need to modify it. Simply learn how to work with okay. that. 
So don't open, don't ask me to see my body. <laughs> it won't make any difference. What I needed is to learn. How to? Yes. It's, 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 it's. So the anatomy, the only question you ask, and these things are supposed to be discussed during premarital counseling and those discussions that are before. Because I can remove my clothes, you see, and you still won't see the problem. That is true. <laughs> Unless is I tell true. you about it, yes. you still won't see it. Yeah. We can have sex the first time and because of chemistry and the exploration of newness, it will function mm. because uh, uh, emotions are over the roof. Because you are a new person, it's, it's a forbidden thing because, it's a, like because the chemistry here is uh, unreal, too strong yeah. and too unsustainable okay. <laughs> and we are new to each other. Yeah. So because of explosiveness, it will work. With 750 volts, okay, the batteries for some cars, for Savari Rally, the normal cars, they use batteries that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Safari Rally, eh? <laughs> <laughs> if I read an article, an expert was warning people. Yes. <laughs> the Safari Rally guys will be around soon. And I mm. want to warn you about some of these cars. They're hybrid, and there's a light they put there. If that light is red, the whole car is charged. Don't touch it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when it is green, then it is safe. It is safe. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, because it's a rally, they put extraordinarily powerful yes. batteries yes. <laughs> for those kind of speeds. Mm. So it was a the normal fifty volts can electrocute, can shock you. What about seven hundred and forty? So sometimes when we are together, it's seven hundred and forty. When we have just come together, yeah. Before it goes back to normal, mm. <laughs> and the normal may be below your par. Yeah. It would have been better. Stolen bread is sweet. When we know this is not right, when we know this is crossing the line, it charges to 740. We okay. are not yet a partner. Yes. <laughs> Once we become a partner, the, the stolen bread is still bread, but it's not stolen anymore. So the, ele the element of the stolen is not there. Yes. And some, some of the appetite and excitement is gone. It's gone. So, so, so the, the, the charge comes down. It's to not even 500 <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> that is the difference <laughs> when you try to see that this is whether it works. And the other, the other element you need to remember is it, it removes that idea that you are self-respecting and you have boundaries. Mm. And that I can trust you to keep yourself even after I marry you. Yeah. The contradiction with the sampling and testing and checking and doing it for is to check, is to those nagging doubts in your head how many people you have done with uh, mm. will you stop doing it and so now what is special so uh, who are you really and can i be sure and <laughs> the plans are the nagging doubts that you will plague you for very long <laughs> and i told you once especially you are a person of faith and you say you're a principal you have this you have god please you honor god and you do some things you throw your whole faith into question yeah you throw everything into question. A person will begin to wonder, so now what? One girl asked me, I, I, I think I might have misled that guy because he met me being all this, singing church and being principled. Now that we did all those things and we have broken, I'm wondering whether you will ever trust any. Oh. <laughs> and, I, and I told her, that yeah. element is always there. When, mm. when, 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 you, when, you, when you compromise what you said was your conviction. Yeah. But what you can do is just... On your part, make peace <laughs> yourself and move on. Let, let's hope. But you learn the lesson that you can mislead and confuse. When you, with the moment you use that word, the term faith, you are a representative of it. And people want to see how it works. If it's not working with you, how will it work with them? They can yeah. get very confused. It can be very misleading. Be very careful when you are coming into searching. Be very careful when you are meeting people, interacting, and you start compromising and compromising and compromising. You may, you may lose everything that would have made people to trust you because they know you have misbehaved while you're still talking the same way. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and yes. They, they can't tell what has changed now. It mm. will take very long <laughs> to build that trust again. So uh, this discussion came up because people kept saying, I don't know what changed when mm. you got married. I saw that as well, and people were wondering. 
I have to convince him to eat. I have to convince him. Uh, we know we, it's about that time someone else said, oh, now we have a schedule. And I'm wondering, do my, my emotions know we never used to have a schedule now? Unajua ni Monday, 6 p.m., Tuesday, 3. You know, like, what am I supposed to do with my emotions to get into that place with this new... And it wasn't like this before we got married. The big question was, what changed? Yeah. Before... It was all this excitement, all this, all this, all this. Now when we are here, the interest is gone. And especially women seem so totally ignorant of a principle that is glaring and so huge that okay. affects our psychology when it comes to sex. Mm -hmm. That, <laughs> I, I, anyway, sometimes explaining this, that's when you remember why men from Mars, women from Venus. Yes. <laughs> sold so much yeah <laughs> there are things that to men seems obvious that to explain them seems irritating until but you remember she's not like she, me it, no from venus <laughs> <laughs> work with me <laughs> <laughs> the, there are things that make men's interest in a woman shift and the women seem so ignorant of them okay <laughs> pen and paper <laughs> there are things that they just cause a total drift. I was studying the other day asking why those girls once they realize the guy actually has money and she's yeah. refused to talk to him. Mm -hmm. She turns back to go and talk to him. Those mm. pranks they play on the streets. Yes. And the turning round is so dramatic. Mm. It's so why graphic. I mean <laughs> why would you go back to a person you've just dismissed? Yeah. So I, I did a few research because I, I say I say together with the money, it's not just money. There's something about women I'm not getting. Okay. There was another psychology behind it. It's not just money. Sometimes they're not even coming back to start a little. No. <laughs> Many times, because a girl came back, doesn't mean now she has accepted you. Uh -huh. She just didn't like how she handled it the first time, and she felt some guilt. Was that right? Ah. Uh. Sometimes she's like, oh, okay, men, I'm not in the place like that. Thank you very much. She wanted to do it in a politer way, maybe. Yes. Sometimes they're not coming back because I've now liked you all. Mm, mm, mm. So I was, I was studying that psychology. Another time they, they were saying, sometimes you are too bombarding. There was no space to think. When you left, she had space to think. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And the no was a defense of, I've not thought about it. What is this? Yeah. Can't just oh, engage and commit. Me. You know. Mm. <laughs> and... There's that part of women that I had to educate myself and research because it still seemed something about it. You know, sometimes you know you don't know something, <laughs> and you don't know what you don't know, so you can't ask directly what you don't know, but you know there's something. <laughs> <laughs> there's something there, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And, and I found one lady was explaining it from inside. It's a lady, okay. and it was very. So I said, okay. So it helps when you find an insider. If it's something about men, get an insider. Who understands it? Yes. <laughs> we may get something and, and inside, as she was saying, sometimes they just, the, 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 when the tension is pulled, they wonder what changed. Some yes. people enjoy women enjoy being chased, just mm. women enjoy chasing. Mm. You know, it works complementary that way. Yeah. And when you have not matured, you forget that the one chasing can get tired. Mm -hmm. And the one you are chasing, you know, the wearing effect, some things could be building. Yeah. And when you have been building, some, some women have a threshold that you should convince them after a certain degree of such uh, chasing. So when you have reached the threshold and you have now won her confidence, then you disappear. She's wondering what changed. Yes. <laughs> so uh -huh. in this case where women are asking what changed before and after yeah. is because you are not the same woman inside marriage as you were before marriage. This is because the psychology of chasing, the psychology of chasing produces a lot of chemistry, a lot of thrill when we are trying to get someone who, we, who is, as, at, as per now, beyond reach, mm -hmm. who is not ours to get. <coughs> and there's a lot of expansion. Your mind concentrates and becomes almost obsessed and attached to that goal. It was created that way to help you achieve things. Okay. It's actually a good thing that comes from focus. Okay. When you focus on something, it magnifies in your head mm -hmm. to keep you at it. Because without that, you'll be distracted here and there. You've watched our lions or the big cats hunt. Yes. When there is a group of deers, they just aim at one. Mm. Others may cross here, but they will still not run. And they will stay. And that one is farther distance than this one. Yes. But because the first energy, the hunting skill requires focus. Uh. <laughs> Just focus on the one. <laughs> because the whole heart has learned how to confuse. 
the cats by scattering. Ah. <laughs> so they will scatter these with confused. But the hunter has learned with time. If you fall for the confusion, you won't get any. So stay with that one. <laughs> Build momentum for that one. Yes. So sometimes when the man was chasing, the thrill was very hot. And the focus was very strong. If you kept it right and let him chase all the way home until he can acquire the right way, you maintain your image in his head. It's the same respectable, hard to chase, hard to get woman. Women, are, men have a hormone you girls don't have. So you keep tripping over it. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> we have a testosterone that has a lot of hunter thrill, hunter instinct, that has a chase that requires to be fired up to a certain speed before it can generate the masculinity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you might remember the, the Land Rover Zawa vehicles before that needed to be started, the coin, you touch the coin or rotate something manually. Before this, too much automatic ignitions came. Coin. Uh, yes. You, <laughs> you didn't put inside. Just <laughs> touch with it. <laughs> Uh -huh. There's some things about men that require certain level of contact to function. Okay. okay. And testosterone has very funny functions like risk taking is one that produces the breaking of the voice, the builds the wall, but it is activated by danger, activated by chains, mm -hmm. activated by challenge. So a woman should possess those elements of challenge, danger. Danger that I might lose if I mess up with this girl. Yeah. Do never remove that element, even with the man you love. Please. Hey, it's like I'm all yours. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> you, you have murdered me. You have taken my that heart. aspect of chase, thrill, danger, possibility of things going wrong is what keeps the man testosterone engaged. In fact, that's how he keeps chasing you even already when he has you. Mm. That's how he keeps trying to impress you. If you remove that, the tension will sag. Okay. <laughs> And you will feel like every now is mundane. Mm. Now, what does sex do? If you give in to sex before you have been attained properly, it sags that unattainability. It makes you look now common. Okay. Some of these men have been with other women and they struggle to see how different you are with those ones. Please. Maybe the second principle is this. I'm okay. telling you what changes and women don't get it. Uh -huh. That the testosterone requires tension unattainability you need to be able to say no to sex family until the right time okay not with rudeness just firmness and seeming like if he doesn't want he can go that is a danger possibility of loss and that there are levels you don't bend be, be, below unfortunately mm. now it is upon him to prove that he can marry such a woman ha <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> now yes. it's upon him to work, <laughs> contain himself. He will, many of them will try to ask for the sex or act like it's like you don't trust me or reverse, reverse guilt and all that. Mm. That's the time you put your shoe down and say, Hey, I know you're a good job, I know you understand. <laughs> Lots of emotions <laughs> you're struggling with. I know you can manage that. <laughs> I trust you on that level. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you can disagree while still challenging people to come up yeah. wisely. Yeah. It's the, it's how you say it. The, there was a there was a lady who met David that told him to stop this nonsense. But she said it so well that he actually married her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to fight her husband. Yeah. <laughs> and yet mobilized. The husband is actually offended this guy. Mm -hmm. Because David had protected the husband's shepherds when they were grazing the same place. Uh -huh. But when David needed some assistance, food, they ran out of food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he sent some the guy insulted I think he shaved them the wrong way in a mocking way <laughs> and sent them back with insults and David went to avenge when that guy learned of it she came around but she did it because she brought food these guys are hungry <laughs> and she praised the king your record is very clean with God and I know you're not about to soil it with this fool <laughs> <laughs> wisdom how about you tell the boy your record is very clear with me? Yes. And you're not about to soil it <laughs> with this small thing. <laughs> <laughs> and give him some food. <laughs> <laughs> well, this food is very magical. Okay. You girls are desmet food. For men, when food is coming from the right hand, it has deep in 
in fact memorable. I still remember incidents with food myself. You had me oh. refer to women who offered food at a time that are, it has been etched deep in me. Yes. Men have a boyish thing that never grows up. And if you learn how to nurture it, you are mm -hmm. permanently important to that person. There's a boy in them that will never grow up. For example, the boy mommy would feed. Mm. So food for a caring person, when he is hungry, Remember, she said a mighty man was simply given water, milk by this woman, and she, he trusted and slept there. Forgot that she comes from the camp of my mm. enemy, the guys I'm running away from. Yes. That's how he was killed. Yeah. Food to a hungry or needy man, that moment. So sometimes when he's on those tantrums, he has been pressuring him for sex, and you, <laughs> you can uh, yourself initiate a meeting and say, I understand, imagine. <laughs> understand <laughs> and I, I feel you but i also know that you're a mighty man of valor that's what abigail told to a fighter you are you can manage these small situations and because when we start family and we have challenges you are the person who will go out there and mm. fight for us mm. <laughs> you're the one and i trust you with these small things i know it is new but you have not you have not been on these frontiers <laughs> so some of these challenges are coming from the fact that even you you've not been here before mm. but me i can see you're strong enough to uphold our values and our standards and our convictions until the end. You shall be my king. <laughs> you are my king. And I, please take some food. I made some. You, you have monitored what he likes. So you make that one. Yeah. You can make a king out of him. You can call him out. That kid needs to be called into king. You call it through validation that is wise, that it includes a rebuke, that like mm -hmm. Abigail did. My yes. Can you stop being foolish? <laughs> but you don't use those words. Yeah. <laughs> you say, the king is better than this. His record is so clean before God. And you know, that guy is a fool, by the way. Uh, actually, it, Nabal means fool. Be careful how you name children. <laughs> <coughs> and it's, it's Abigail who told us, just like his name is, so mm. is he. Only for us to find it was literary. That's the meaning of the name. <laughs> there was no abuse there. <laughs> no abuse. <laughs> Imagine. Oh. And he turned back. I said, I have both heard your request, but I have also respected you personally. Respected your person. I told, told him, this guy, God will deal with him. Eh? <laughs> you go. <laughs> Sometimes it's a way you can handle. And I, any man, most men will tell you a time they were handled so wisely. Only to remember later they were actually be, be being foolish. <laughs> but the way they were handled mm. wisely, they respected the person who handled them. That's the maternal part that needs babysitting. So I was telling you the kids that they need food yeah. and they need babysitting. To softly, okay, sometimes preachers during weddings, they overemphasize that part and they confuse people. Yes. <laughs> that they have ego, questions in my head. ego, <laughs> uh, be careful how you... Mm. There's a time to correct more directly. Mm. But there's a time to see he genuinely can't see the wrong he's doing. Yeah. So you praise what you want to see instead of this. Instead of this brawling boy going to fight bloody fight with a very poor uh, a fool, how about you behaved the king and took the higher road? Yeah. So that's the time you tell the boy, hey, so being a kid, go back to being a king. And then give him food, some gifts and go back. <laughs> That was permanently the establishment of their connection. They had never interacted. So and soon, in 10 days or so, the guy died. David rushed too quickly to marry the woman where the one is yeah. respect. This is the aspect that women forget that. A man only loves you, yearns for you sexually when you command his respect. The element of respect is there in sexual attraction. You only command it when he knows you're not cheap. The way not to be cheap is to do things by the book and control your own emotions. Because yeah. unless women succumb to sex, because even them, they say, oh, it's been dry spell. Oh, they long. Oh, they lose themselves. Oh, they also want the theory. Oh, they also want to experience. You give in to indulgence. You give in to temptation with the wrong person who you needed for the, for the whole journey. Mm. And I was telling some guys, if you must do some things, don't do it to the people you have a future with. You're planting seeds that will taunt you for years to come. Yeah. Sex outside here means you can compromise. One reason people have mistrust in marriage is because they got you to do it before. And they know you can do it. Had you shown them you can control yourself? Imagine I also feel like you. Who does it long, surely? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I, um, I like you. I'm honestly, I dream of us. But you know what? This process is part of what makes you me who I am. Once I saw the Bible telling me to keep the, the bedroom, the bed, the bed pure. For me, that is the meaning. And I don't want to tell you, oh, if you can, this go. Yeah. But, but please help me. 
because I love you and I don't want to us to lose what we have. Yes. At the same time, I don't want, if I let us do this, you will have changed from who I viewed you, who we are, to confuse our connection, and it will be very hard to trust. So I know you can contain yourself. And they will walk out of there feeling that girl is I'm right. Not, I'm not so sure what happened there, but I feel like I was straightened, you know. And <laughs> Did I just, exactly. did they play, did, was, I did, was I, I did I come here with an agenda? <laughs> what really happened? But then I think the question for me would be then, um, if you do this right and you get into the institution of marriage, you've kept yourself, he's uh, probably kept himself or whatever, and we're getting in and we're doing this. Isn't there a chance of that also warning out over the years? And then if that happens, how then do we... Rekindled. So probably we've gotten our rhythm, probably our chemistry is right, everything is working. But then, doesn't it, does it mean that because this happened then it won't, you know? Do people lose appetite for eating and then they die? No, well... Somewhere along life. Because they lost appetite? Yes. Uh -huh. Unless they are sick. Yeah. So the things we need for, for life food, intimacy, generally the need is constant unless there's another problem going on. Okay. So the fear of will, will, there, the, will the appetite still be there, it will still be there. The tension you maintain there is created by, by uh, now friendship. There's, a li there's, a, there's, a, there's something you have. You have more leeway inside marriage to create deeper friendship than you ever had. Okay. By understanding their soul, the texture of their soul now. That time I just know they have a good heart. Mm. This time I can learn their soul. Mm. That time I learned they were honest person. Mm -hmm. That time I, I, I knew they were generous. I saw the compassion. I saw how consistent and sincere they are. Those are the qualities that made me marry this guy, this girl. But yeah. now inside marriage, I can see what moves them to tears. Okay. I can see what gives them the deepest fulfillment. And it keeps them, I, can, it, it, I can study the small things that can I put together and blow them away. Mm. I can see the things that deeply connect from childhood, the topography of their life. I can learn the small things that they love most. Okay. Or we can get a time to create a unique motif to brag with against the world. When it is us against the world, there is a special chemistry which we do not have that time. We can weave something unique to us, our own secret, our own private thing, how we do things, how we communicate, how we accomplish things quickly, how the things we instill into our children, the how we design our home, how we design our life, how we, how we keep the world guessing, how we surprise them every time jointly, how we, we weave a motif. There's something we do there. We'll discuss it more, but those two things should keep you always yearning okay. to get together again. The understanding of her soul now, not just her body. Okay. And so that even as years go on, the body may may wear down. Yeah. It's the appreciation of who she is from inside that draws me to her. Mm -hmm. And then the thing we have weaved together and how proud we are of our in communication, inside thinking, inside working, and how we manage to shock the world and win against other couples. That, that competition, internal competition, is very healthy. Of saying, we married around the same time with that, that, and that, that. Let's see how, how far we can go. Let's see how far we can go. And they, then they cheer you on. Hell, the couples cheer each other. Oh, you guys yeah. have, yeah, yeah, you've done well. You remember we started together, you guys have done well. You know? Yes. Something like that, yes. So if you've been asking those questions that I started this show by asking, I hope you have gotten an answer and a deeper understanding of why having sex before marriage, how going on a test drive before you actually own the car, is not a very wise decision and what actually happens when that happens before you get married and what exact what that results into when you actually get into the institution of marriage so this is how we wrap this up you don't date with dignity for god or someone else but for yourself it ensures you against any injustice. And if you're a child of destiny, you already know that any willful compromise will be visited with justice and the enemy will be waiting for you to make small mistakes that he can exaggerate the consequences. You may, uh, you may say you will repent. <laughs> I liked this part. You may say you will repent and truly, truly you will be forgiven. But that's only one side of the story. The compromise itself interfered with your judgment and discernment and compromised your decision 
Now that's not something that you can reverse by just saying sorry. <sighs> and it's scary.